Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and a little bit of a different manufacturer for you here. This is the Mac Extreme Technology MX DS Turbo SATA 3 solid state drive. You can see the website address on the bottom of the packaging, mx-technology.com, so please do check them out and a big, big thank you for them sending me through this to test. Now, as you can see on the front, SATA 3, trim support, Windows 7, sand force driven, 120 gigabyte version. Let's have a look on the back of the packaging. It says here, Mac Extreme Technology designs and builds SSDs for superior desktop and notebook performance. Well, we're gonna get this installed into my uh, Mac Pro. And I'm also gonna do an additional test on this at a later date, because this is a SATA 3 drive, and I'm gonna initially test it on a SATA 2 connection, and then I will be bringing you an update with some SATA 3 performance figures as well. So let's see what we get inside the pack. Let's just pop that there. Now, on the back of the packaging, we have got this metal plate. Let's just take this off. Now, I'm not gonna be using this on my installation because it does not line up with my Mac Pro um, sort of drive sleds, but if you're using a PC, this allows you to mount the drive and convert it into a standard size bay drive. A Little bit of a graphic design going on there too, so nice that they include that in the packaging. Turn this back over and we can get to the drive itself. We've got a little pack here, which contains some mounting screws. So they've really thought of everything. They give you everything you need to install this in your computer. Little anti-static bag, and we can get into the drive itself. Let's just pop this packaging and the sled to one side. And let's just give you a look at this. Oh, we have also got, let's just pop this down, hand tested 100%. So they do test these before they go out. Here we go, this is the drive itself. Metal casing, nice construction. We've got uh, some screws holding it closed on the top. Nice graphic on the top. On this side, mounting screw holes. On this side, mounting screw holes. On the bottom, extra mounting screw holes here for that adapter plate. And then also the connection. Try not to touch the gold connectors. You don't wanna get any grease on them. This is for the data and the power, of course. So a nice design to the drive. I'm gonna get this installed in my Mac Pro and show you how it performs. So I've got the Mac Extreme Technology solid state drive installed in my Mac Pro now. Let's start the disk speed test going. I'm using Black Magic Designs application and we're getting a write speed of 251 megabytes per second and a read speed of 265 megabytes per second. Now please do bear in mind these speeds are impacted slightly because I'm recording using ScreenFlow at the same time. So expect between five and 10% increase in these speeds if I wasn't recording whilst doing this test. Please also bear in mind, this is a SATA 3 drive and I've got it connected on a SATA 2 connection. So this MX DS Turbo has been giving me a solid performance on my Mac Pro. This is a fantastic drive, fantastic price point as well, $230 in the US, no UK pricing at the time of doing this review, but expect to pay around about the £180 mark if you're importing it. And for a SATA 3 2.5 inch solid state drive, that is a fantastic price. I will be retesting this on a SATA 3 connection at a later date. But for now, I will leave you with this review and ask you kindly to check out mx-technology.com who sent me this to review. Very, very good performer and I've been extremely pleased with how this has been transforming my desktop use. Now, before I sign off, I will also mention you can, of course, install these in laptops and notebooks as well. And if you install this in something like a MacBook Pro, you're gonna benefit from uh, extended battery life, quieter performance, and of course, that real, real boost in the performance of your system. So thank you very much for watching. Please do come back soon and check out more videos on the Geek and Noise channel.